But I see Sean Payton says, yup, I'll take that job. And to me, from where I'm sitting, yeah. I go, oh, that's a that's an endorsement of Russell Wilson. Sean Payton believes. Yeah, it absolutely is. Okay, t- please tell me about that. Well, look, when you have a 5 in 12 season, there, there's dirt on a lot of hands. So certainly the quarterback and the head coach draw the most. Those are the most visible guys. Those are the two two people in leadership roles. But man, if you if you look at everyone's fingernails, there's a lot of dirt on them. And so what I mean by that is they're shared uh, things that they didn't do well organizationally. And so, you know, they didn't play well enough up front in the offensive line. They hung in there defensively. I mean, they when you look at this team, they played pretty good defense considering their offense wasn't on the field like you'd want. Uh, they, they didn't run the ball like you'd want. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think there's certain things formula-wise when you watch – it, it, the, the number one thing, Keyshawn, you know this, the number one, two allies for good quarterback play are good defense and a good running game. Yes. That takes the pressure off, right? And so if you don't have a good defense or if you don't have a good running game, the quarterback climbs up to the high dive and then and, and he's got to be better. And any of these quarterbacks, I, you know, you, I, I don't care. I mean, look, this kid in, in Kansas City is fa- fantastic. But he starts getting that deep coverage umbrella, you know, he's going to have to utilize a running game, things to keep the defense off balance. And, and I felt like with Russell, that's certainly the case. If we looked at their Seattle formula, they played good defense. The running game wasn't always as good year to year, but they were committed to the running game with him. And then you got all the movement throws, you got all the different things he did. And so. To, to your question, I think there were a lot of things that club didn't do well last year. And so, look, does Russell catch the brunt of that? Sure. That's part of the deal. But um, but that's, that's, that's what we're going to get corrected. Denver Broncos head coach Sean Payton joining us here on Keyshawn J. Will and Max. Uh, coach Payton, I've heard this from guys like Phil Jackson, Greg Popovich, Coach K, um, and I'm curious your answer to this. What are the principles – um, that you need to establish the Sean Payton principles that you need to establish with the Broncos in order to have a, a locker room and a culture that is conducive to winning. Yeah, I, I think they're. You, you hear them all the time. They're simple ones, and yet um, I think they they hold the test of time. I mean, number one, I, I think uh, as coaches, we've got to be good communicators, passionate, and and we got to care about our players. And so you start with trust and you build that up um, with uh, individual position groups. You build it up, head coach through the team, and then accountability. Um, look, we're, we're going we're gonna to do things a certain way. It's not going to be easy. And you know what? It's not for everyone. Mm. You know, it's not for everyone. But, uh, but you start with that passion for what we do, preparation, and then uh, – you know that that trust the players have that that beyond football you care about them. I mean, look, Keyshawn played for Bill at two different places, Parcells, and I had a chance to coach underneath Bill for three years. And the single most gratifying part of this business is to see the relationships now when Keyshawn would pick the phone up and talk to him, or you, you know, because you knew it was more than just football. He cared about you. And and I think that that's that's part of teaching. And so, uh, um, you know, I don't have this triangle when you enter the building of here are the three. You know, they're very simple. You know, we're, we're going to work at this. We're going to be we're going to be direct and honest, and and we're not going to be afraid of confrontation. Um, but because of it, though, we're going to be better as a team. And then we start looking for like-minded people. That that's the number one thing, really. You it's the ingredients you bring into the building. And pretty soon in New Orleans, you know, I'd ask this question in the draft room, is this player going to be welcome in the locker room? Because pretty soon when you get that culture, you have a responsibility to the culture when you bring new, new people in. Like, is this someone that's going to fit in our locker room 
or am I going to hear from Breeze or one of these players like, what were you thinking, you know, drafting this guy? And I think that's important. Sean, Sean Payton, Sh- Super Bowl Sh- winning coach. Go ahead, Key. Well, Sean, I want to ask you a real quick question before we let you go. You're, you're moving into a totally new situation. Everybody doesn't know your dynamics in that building. They're walking on eggshells right now. Are you going to, and this is not to poach anybody or anything or get controversy going, but are you going to look to bring in some of your former teammates so they could, or some of your former players that become available so they could kind of teach the culture in which Sean Payton is looking for? Guys that can help you win. Absolutely. Though. Absolutely. And, and yeah, it, it, it's, you're not just looking to bring, bring in former players that you're looking to bring in former players that still have gas in the tank. Absolutely. And so I, I, I was at this wheels up dinner last night. It, wasn't, it was more of a dinner and they were talking about the game and the game. And then I, I said in the room, I said, raise your hand if you're a current player in this NFL and about, man, there's 23 hands went up. I just kind of looked around and said, I just got to figure out where you're at. Cause I'm going to come over there and tamper with every one of you. <laughs> hey, sh- uh, but coach. to your question, Keyshawn, no, to your question, no, Latavius Murray, for instance, has played for me and he's on this roster. There, there are certain guys that can move, can move the room and, and they, they could be offensive linemen. They could be defensive backs. It would, whatever guys that have been in your program and they've seen the benefits of it. So they become internal salesmen. Like, man, what do you see how this thing unfolds? We're going to have this, this, like there, there's, we're always selling our program. We're selling our offense. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.